With the content that uh, we're talking about today, the three specific episodes that were flagged, uh, a couple of them came under a sub-series of My Perfect Family, which is, is content about families where there's one or more persons, one or more people who have a disability, and how the family really wraps around them and support, and how they support each other. And then the In My Mind series is about mental health, uh, specifically with the Dr. Tom episode, it's about, it's about health, how do you say well? So with our content, it gets its first play on broadcast with TVNZ. After that, we get to share it online. We really push it out throughout the world through our channel, attitudelive.com. But YouTube is a big part of that offering as well. It's quite unique content throughout the world. So we really push that international audience beyond just New Zealand. Um, but, you know, with digital, it's not just the same as, as broadcast. You can't wait for viewers to come to you. You have to push it out. So you do that through ways such as campaigns, running digital campaigns. But when we went to push out this content, then it got flagged as shocking content under their inappropriate content guidelines. Why that happened, we're really struggling to get a hand on uh, because you don't get a reason, you just get the big red flag, shocking content. What we think is, or you know, what we hope we're wrong about is that it's more or less just been flagged because it is content about disability. And somewhere along the line, people have associated disability as something that needs to be flagged, needs to be kept in reserve, needs to be held back. So when you run a campaign like this, you're, the one that we ran, we, we would have expected numbers of around 500,000 viewers. Uh, with, the, with the flag, with the shocking content, it's basically shut down, so you don't get any views coming through. We pushed back against YouTube through the channels, and we got it released, but it was under limited promotion, which meant we ended up with about 50,000, 80,000 views. In the grand scheme of things, that's not a big drama, you know, there's a lot of other big things going on in the world. But I think what is, what is something to talk about is that this, um, you know, the perception of disability, the representation of disability, is just getting limited, and this happens in so many facets and so many areas, and it's just a barrier that compounds. So that's where we really wanted to, as much as we hate to tell people when they get it wrong or throw hate, we just really want to showcase that this is something that we don't feel is right.